Hello! In this video I will show you how to create badges for GitHub README file. You can see example what we will create, different styles, different badges with, uh, for example, getting npm version, getting followers from YouTube or creating static badges with uh, customization. Let's start with creating new repository. We will click plus new repository. Name will be any. It will be this repository name. We will do it public or private, doesn't matter. But we will add the readme file. It's required in our case because of we want to show these badges in readme file. And we have it. Now we can edit it and um, we will put here all information we need. So, how can we create these badges? Let's go to shields.io and uh, we will start with get started. So, let's start from something simple, it's static batch. It's the first one and here is the example how we can do. We will use markdown as uh, readme its markdown file and we need to put some label. Let's check the information how it should be implemented. So label it's a message and the color separated by a dash. It's important because of when you put something like this one and try execute you have error. But after dash for example black you see that it's now black. What is interesting is that you can put as many dashes as you want. No, you can't. You need to put two. And now it works with two dashes. The last one is for the color. Now, uh, let's add it. For example, this one, demo batch. We now can copy it and uh, paste it here. For the preview we see that we have this batch, it's what we expected. The next one, let's go to something more complex and um, for example versioning of the package. We will use npm package manager and uh, let's put some package name. We can use for example React and we have the latest version of React. The same we will copy and uh, add the page here. Preview works great. The next, what about some customization? We have some additional parameters and for example style. As you see we have differ different is flat, flat square, plastic for the batch. All the parameters you can find here with examples. Uh, let's try to change style. Check now it's flat. Then we can change color. It's not visible. Let's change this one. As you see, color was changed. The next, for npm, we can change this. You can use any approach you know, but let's leave it. Just to, so, as you see. Here you can find any parameter or any style or any batch you, you need. For example, it may be some social, GitHub stats, followers, everything what you need, just need to put a username. For example, we can try this one, my username, markdown, and we see that we have 161 follower additional parameters, let's add some logo. Interesting part about logo. 
As you see in logo, we can use some predefined like Bitcoin, GitLab, NPM, Stack Exchange, or we can use simple icons. Let's go to simple icons. It's a site where you can find different icons. Let's wait for loading and then you just can copy name of the logo and put it here. While we are waiting, we can just add, for example, GitHub. It should find it. And as you see, we have GitHub icon. Now let's change style a bit for the batch we will use. It should be a bit bigger. Better. Copy. And uh, we will add it as well. Now let's add uh, something a bit more interesting and um, for example top technologies you use. We will go here and we need a new shields. We will use static. Then let's go to configuration and we will add the next. It will be for example react with color. The next we need the logo react. Okay now we need the style for the batch. It will be bigger. Now we need change background for the icon. Now it looks much, much better. Also you can change logo color. Let's put this color. It's react logo color. And now we have it. Again, we can copy and paste it here. Now, as you see, you have great icon batch of React and you can add any icons you want. For example, I can add uh, a few of them. I already prepared these icons and uh, in case you put these tags in one line without separating on the end, you will have, you will have this great badges in one line. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget you can subscribe or follow me on my GitHub account. Link will be under the description. So thank you for watching.